Hi everyone, Magnus here. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell today, I'm in my car and there's a reason for that. I'm gonna take you with me to three fast food restaurants today. And I want you to see what I order and how I think when I ordered food or fast food. Even though there's three different restaurants today, I hope that you guys can take something with you the way I'm thinking when ordering and what I'm prioritizing and what I'm trying to avoid. So you can learn something and uh, apply that to yourself, to the restaurants that you're going to, wherever you live in the world, and eat a little healthier. Our first stop today is McDonald's. So I'm gonna type in the address and we'll be on our way. Two things that I'm looking for when ordering fast food is overall calories and protein. Calories because you don't wanna overeat. Protein because it will fill you up. It's also key when it comes to building or keeping your muscle mass. If you don't eat enough protein, you will actually lose muscle mass and we don't want that to happen. Things that I won't take into consideration today is the price of the food, whether the food is organic or not, or the amounts of sugars or fibers. The reason I bring that up is that if you wanna live a healthy life long-term, you need to look at more than just calories and protein. What I mean is that just because we're gonna find good options today that are under 500 calories and with enough protein, doesn't mean that you should eat fast food every day. There's much more to it long-term. I ordered the double hamburger. You guys didn't see me, but I had a look at the menu and I did some research before and um, at McDonald's, it's hard to find an option that's high enough in protein without having those extra calories, fat and carbs. Looking at the chicken, the nuggets and everything, which is usually is a good choice. Here at McDonald's, the double burger is the best choice. What I'm thinking is that the protein's in the patty, right? So I picked a burger with that extra patty. And if you go to a restaurant where they don't have two patties, you can always ask for it because normally they don't put enough protein in the food. Uh, but that also means that you got to make sure to pick something that's not too high in fat and carbs. So I didn't go for the Big Mac or the quarter pound or it's more about the protein in the patties. Three dollars and 49 cents. I didn't do a combo. You want to stay away from the fries. They're trouble. They didn't have any good side salads or any side salads. So um, that was not an option. So I decided just to do the burger and that's it. Thank you so much. <laughs> so this double hamburger has got 20 grams of protein, which is on the lower side for me, but it's not terrible. And 330 calories. So we're, we're below our 500 calories mark. And uh, 14 grams of fat and 32 grams of carbs. So, under 500 calories, key is protein, remember, so 20 grams is on the lower side, but it was the best I could find when you take in protein, carbs and fat, and overall calories into consideration. Not too bad at all. I do think though, if you can make your own burgers at home, you'll probably do a better job. Next up, we have Chick-fil-A. I'm not gonna not deny, I'm pretty excited about this next stop because I know that Chick-fil-A has a lot of good options. I'm excited to get over there and see what they have. So we just had a look at the menu and great thing about Chick-fil-A is that they have a lot of options under 500 calories. Actually, most sandwiches come in under 500 calories and they contain a decent amount of protein. The interesting thing here is that the salads are even higher in calories than the sandwiches, but not all of them have a great protein content. Some do, but they're way too high in calories. So the better option here is the sandwiches or the burgers. Uh, but I am going to get the grilled nuggets. So this is a home run and I'm going to order these now. I'm going to tell you why in a second. Hey, Hello, can I get a name for the order? Magnus, M-A-D-N-U-S. Grilled nuggets. There's nothing but grilled chicken here, which makes it the perfect meal, even when you're on a diet. This is going to be packed with protein, low in carbs and fat. So what I did, I also added a fruit cup, a little fruit salad. And by adding that fruit cup, 
it gave me some more good calories because there's hardly any fuel in that meal. You know, protein's the building stones of muscle and tissue, but at the same time, you want, you know, fat and carbs are the body's fuel source. So I wanted to make sure to add a little fuel in to that meal. And the fruit cup's about 50 calories, which is hardly nothing. Here at Chick-fil-A, the nuggets is by far the healthiest thing you can order. At McDonald's, they're way different. They're lower in protein and higher in calories, fat and carbs. So depending on where you go, you just gotta make sure that you read the nutritional label, figure out what's uh, the healthier option. And don't you think it's interesting as well that the salad that would be like an obvious healthy option it's not healthier at all. It contains way more calories than the burgers. If you've been following me for a while, you know, I talk about macros, you know, protein, fat, and carbs. That's uh, the key when you start looking at a diet, but there's a relationship between macros, macronutrients, and calories. You see, you can dial in your macros and eat the right proportions of protein, fat, and carbs, but still overeat or undereat. And that's where calories come in the picture. So, but I'll tell you this, if you eat super clean, it's gonna be very hard to overeat calories. I like to take calories into consideration when I'm not eating that clean, when I'm ordering fast food, for example, because life is all about balance. You gotta be able to enjoy food that's, that tastes good. A life without a burger or a pizza every once in a while is a poor life. It's not really sustainable. With that said, now we're pulling up and I'm gonna check out these awesome grilled nuggets. Woohoo, here we go. So I added my favorite sauce, the buffalo sauce, to this meal. I know it's gonna be high in sugar. It's not gonna be the healthiest, but I know the calories are low. I'm not eating a lot of fat and carbs with that main meal, so I can afford adding that sauce. But it's good to know that Everything you add like that, all the sauces that you add will be high in calories, high in sugar. Not the healthiest option at all. We got the grilled chicken and the fruit salad or the fruit cup. It says the buffalo sauce. And even though they gave me two sauces, I'm going to try to do with one. This is really good. So grilled chicken tend to get dry. It can easily get dry. But yeah, Chick-fil-A, you, you pulled it off. These are not dry. Good job on the fruit salad. A lot of good fibers, micronutrients, and only 50 calories. So this was the only side option that I liked at Chick-fil-A. I don't think you should add anything else, no salad or anything. The fruit cup with the grilled chicken is by far the best option. Our third and final stop today is Taco Bell. So I'm excited to go to Taco Bell and see what they have on the menu and what we might find. And super easy pick here at Taco Bell. The Power Bowl was by far the best option. I did mine with chicken. Uh, the steak is similar, just as healthy or good. What I liked about it, it, it was high in protein. It wasn't too high in fat and carbs, which is keeping the calories, overall calories down. Salads, tomato, beans. I feel like I'm getting everything in this bowl. Thank you very much. You too. All right, $7. I added some hot sauce, which is nine times out of 10 a good option because it's low in calories, no sugar, usually. I didn't ask for um, any sauces until the end when I asked for a little hot sauce. <laughs> this is what I got, like 15 different sauces. I like it. Good job, Taco Bell. There you have it, guys. We tried three different fast food chains today. There's a pretty big difference between them, I would say. I, I'm super impressed with uh, Chick-fil-A. That's the one I would pick if I wanted to eat fast food while on a diet. No other restaurant had an option where you, would, where you got that much protein compared to carbs and fat. Those grilled nuggets were, were actually really good. And that fruit salad that I added to it, was, I liked that as well. Uh, well done, Chick-fil-A. I did like the taste of other ones too, I have to say. McDonald's is McDonald's. Yeah, decent burger. 
little low in protein though. It's hard to get the protein up without getting the calories up too much. So that's my only issue when, when going to McDonald's. With that said, if you don't care about the protein that much, we're under 400 calories, so not a big deal. Same thing with uh, Taco Bell. I, I really enjoy that Powerball, it tasted great. And you can do it with chicken like I did or with steak. I'm gonna throw in there though that's, that if you pick the vegetarian version of the Power Bowl, it only had 12 grams of protein. That's not a good option. And it was almost the same amount of calories as the one I had. So same amount of calories or a little less and only 12 grams of protein. Just to run through the numbers again, the, the double burger was 330 calories, 14 grams of fat, 32 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. At Chick-fil-A, the, the grilled nuggets, I did a 12 pack and that's 200 calories only, four and a half gram fat, two grams of carbs, and 30 grams of protein. So that's perfect for me. They did have a, uh, a smaller option as well, eight pieces at 130 calories, three grams of fat, one grams of carb, and 25 grams of protein. That is an option as well. I did add that 50 calorie fruit salad, which will have uh, you know a little carbs. I think it's around 10 to 15 grams of carbs, depending on the size of the fruit salad, and no fat and one gram of protein. So the power menu bowl came in at 450 calories with the chicken. About the same with the steak. 20 grams of fat, 42 grams of carbs, and 26 grams of protein. I wanted to show you guys that you can actually stay in shape and eat fast food. Life is all about balance. You shouldn't eat fast food every day. There's definitely room for fast food in your life if you want it. I hope there's something in this video that you can take with you. Read the nutrition labels. Sometimes the healthy option is not that healthy. The salads might not be the best choice, but you get, just gotta do your research, look at the nutrition label and go from there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, press like, and I will see you next week.